The wheelie? Yeah. Just a lot of practice. Now, you want me to do it again? Yeah. Bad. Ooh. Yeah, these kids want me to wheelie for them. Sorry. Hey, what's up, guys? You guys ever want to know how to wheelie like me? No, because I'm super trash at wheelies, I know. Yo, what's up guys, it's me Chase Ghost. Today I'm going to teach you how to wheelie a bike. Let's get into it. So first things first, let's just go over basic safety rules for wheelies. One, always, 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 always wear a helmet every time you wheelie. Just in case you fly back, and if you fall, you can protect your goddamn noggin, alright? Always wear a helmet. Always. Second thing, this is not something you need to wear all the time, but I recommend hand protection. Your, your natural instinct is to fall to the ground, right? And when you fall to the ground, you're going to fall and you're going to put your hands first. Protect it with gloves. Look at how much stuff this glove's taking. What is this? Year and like two months abuse right here finally got through on one but hey hand wasn't even damaged after that invest in a good pair of gloves that also have the padded knuckles these ones cost me 20 bucks for the pair at walmart guys not even even if you guys don't want to spend too much you guys want to do spend a little bit like 10 12 dollars just buy some like i think they're called mechanics gloves just buy mechanics gloves make sure they have pretty thick um hand cover hand covers just like the material that they're made out of make sure it's like thick enough so once when you put your hand down you slide it won't rip open because I know plenty of people that I ride with or that I have rode with and that I ride with now that have done a wheelie they popped it up, they biffed straight for the ground, and they put their hands and they skid the hell out of their heads. Hell, I've done it, guys, and it hurts. So, guys, I wanted to do... Now, we can talk about actual wheelie now that we got protection out of the way. First things first, we're going to start with foot placement. This is what everybody else starts with, and it's what I'm going to start with. And the main reason why is because... It's kind of like the first step, but instead of just teaching you where to put your feet, how to pedal, and boom, no, I'm going to give you tips and tricks to get a lot faster and easier, guys. It, man, my wheelies are still aren't even that good, right? So I can just like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can pop it up and I can ride it for a little bit. And it also, it doesn't help that I don't have brakes. I can pop it up and ride it for a little bit. But the thing is, is that it takes a while. It takes a while to learn wheelies. And it took me a year, a couple months so far, and I'm still not that good. But I can give you tips and tricks to help you learn the wheelie faster. Okay? So first, let's start with foot placement. The dominant foot needs to be the highest foot. Me, ambidextrous. Any foot, whatever I want. I can do right, I can do left. Now, once when you have it like that, put that dominant foot up. So we'll just do right for the sake of the video, because most people are like right footed. So you're gonna have the right foot up, dominant foot, right or left, right? You're gonna push with that as hard as you can. Meanwhile, you push with that, you're kind of pushing down on the bars and then pulling up. So something like this. Pull. Okay? And now when you first get that, you're not going to be able to pop it that high, okay? That's about 7, 8 inches off the ground for the front wheel. Yours is going to look something like this. 2 to 3 inches off the ground. And here's the thing. People always get super ambitious when they do the wheelies. They're like, all right, you know, I've been doing wheelies for a week. I'm going to try to wheelie from, you know, they're like, I'm going to try to wheelie from here all the way to like here and that's super ambitious for a week's worth of work because here's the thing when you wheelie and you go like this you go all right guys 
I'm gonna wheelie from this yellow line. Boom, and I did it. No, you didn't. Okay, I'm gonna flat out say this right now. You did not wheelie this whole thing. Your front wheel barely made it up when you hit that line. And you did half of it. I go by back tire. Okay, because that's how much you, know, you go like this. Boom, boom. Oh, made it. Boom. Right there. 100%. Go with back tire. Also, set little goals. The little goals is what's going to really help you push through. Because if you're like, all right, I want to wheelie from that line to that line right there. And I've been doing wheelies three weeks now. I think I got it, right? You're going to keep trying it and trying it and trying it and trying it and get super down and not want to keep doing the wheelies. So say if you went from the first yellow line to the one in the middle, it's a lot shorter of a distance and it's something you could get done in a week if you really tried. And you could be like, all right, and you pop it up, you know, and you back wheel, boom. Oh, look at that, I made it. And then you're like, all right, let me go from this one to the one after that, the second part of the circle one. So you're like, all right, all right, well, I'm gonna go up, pop, and you're gonna, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a fail, but you're just gonna do it, right? So guys, Foot placement is super important with, geez, someone is going to, foot placement is super important just because of how crucial it is to getting the front wheel up. I don't know why you fucking staring at me, I don't care. It's super important to getting the front wheel up because the more power you push in, the more you're going to have the wheel up. What the fuck? Alright guys, so also, when you get the wheel up and it, you're pedaling, most people want to just crank, 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 crank as hard as they can. But you see, when you're cranking as hard as you can, it's good when you have brakes. Alright? Because when you have brakes, what the brakes do is once when you pull up too high, so you're here and then you pull up too high, you hit the brakes and you're going to go down. Up down right I'm gonna give you a simulation I don't have brakes but this is what it would look like you're up hit the brakes and you go right down you're up hit the brakes right down you're up riding oh wait let me redo that one you're up riding hit the brakes right down boom yes it is gonna be a little bit of shake as you guys sit up by the camera it's going to shake you, but it's going to be a lot better than falling back on your head or your ass. Guaranteed any day. Make sure you learn with brakes. That's my problem. I didn't learn with brakes. I never had brakes on a bike, really. So I've been so used to putting your foot in the front tire to stop like this. I've been so used to that. Okay, now, so when you have the wheel up and you want to keep pedaling... And keep the wheel up and keep it steady. Make the wheel look nice. Okay? This is what you're going to have to do. Every person and every bike is different. Some bikes have a big front sprocket and a smaller back. Some bikes have a small and a big. Some, bi some bikes have a small and a small. It depends on your bike. The bigger the front sprocket, the less you're going to really have to force that wheel to go the smaller that means you have to do more rounds in a minute than in the bigger one to go faster and farther so you always want to learn on a bike that really has a big sprocket on the front but don't let that stop you okay you can learn with a bike that has a small sprocket on the front you're just gonna have to pedal a lot more so instead of pedaling like this slow pedal 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 when you really you're gonna have to be like this pedal pedal <laughs> Pedal, 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 pedal. And you're gonna pick up speed super fast. And that gets scary. All right, guys? Now, safety tip, safety recommendation. When you're doing a wheelie and you're scared about falling back, all right? Most people are scared, oh, what if I fall back and I hit my head? Blah, 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 blah. I want you guys just to practice. Basically this. Make sure you have pegs. If you don't have pegs, you can still do this. You just have to do it from the pedals, which is a little scarier. So if you have pegs, just get on the pegs, pull back, pull back, and fall back. Just practice putting your feet down underneath of you, just like that. Every time. Underneath you. Okay? Now if you have pedals, just do the same thing. 
from the pedals. When you learn from the pedals, just like that. Crank with one, take one off. Step off. When you learn with pedals, you're gonna be a lot less scared, I promise you. That's something you gotta keep working on. Repetition, over and over and over. Now, say you use all my tips I taught you in this video. Every bike and every person is different. That means you have to find what works. Every single bike can be different, right? Different person, different bike. That's why it's always challenging when you ride your bike, you're like, oh, I can wheelie this fine. You go to someone else's bike, you may not be able to wheelie it as well. Because it's not, you're not used to wheeling that bike. Right? So find, it takes a lot of time to find that sweet spot in the pedaling. It took me three weeks. And then I just kept improving, improving, improving. It took me three weeks to finally get the, I pop, lightly, lightly pedal. For me, it's a real light pedal. For somebody else, it could be a real heavy pedal. At times, it can be a heavy pedal if you're getting the wheel up. If the wheel's already to here, and this is loop, light pedals. If you're to here, and barely off the ground, hit that pedal as hard as you can, get up, rider. You know? Also, guys, just have confidence on the bike. Big thing of a wheelie is confidence. If you don't have confidence, you're not gonna like, you're not gonna wanna do it at all. And make sure you set small goals. Cause the big ambitious, the people that make these videos on YouTube that teach you how to wheelie, they already know how to wheelie super well. Me and you are like the exact same. Except I've been doing it for just a little bit longer. And I've gotten it down a little bit. So I'm, I'm in the process, right? I don't, haven't learned fully how to wheelie. But I know the basics, and I know what you, I know tips and tricks that I used as a beginner to help me. And one of the biggest tips I can give you is watch other people's videos on wheeling. Study their pedal movements. Study where they're holding your bars, because when you're at balance point, that's one thing you have to find on the bike is balance point. What balance point is is when you lift up the bike and you have the wheel up, and you're in a wheelie. It's how where that bike balances. Where you can just let go and jump off and it'll balance for a little bit. Okay? That's what balance point is. And you really have to find that. Balance point can consist of even the random times. Which when you're like barely this high, there's a different balance point than this high. It just depends, man. And, you know, balance point can consist of bars being straight, bars being to the right, bars being to the left. It really just depends on the person and where you like. Some people are just like, like their bar straight and they're just like this. Right? I personally kind of like to keep it straight, but you see, it really helps because once when you have to go to pedal, you have to push hard on the right side, you kind of just give it a little bit to the right or the left. You know what I mean? Well, my favorite is just to hold it to the right because I, I just like the look of it on video. <laughs> hey, hey, you know? So, guys, that's my wheelie tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are trying to learn wheelies. It's summer, make sure you learn these things, man. Cause in the winter, if you guys get winters, the roads are slick, the roads are snowy. It's hard, it's way harder. You guys got what, three, four months left if you're in the United States? You have three to four months left of summer. In three to four months, you can make plenty of progress. Plenty of progress. I'm telling you, a lot of progress, man. Make sure, confidence. Use the tips, rewatch the video if you forgot some of the tips, and use the tips, man. The tips are what's gonna help you in the long run. A lot of these bigger YouTube channels out here that make these tutorials and you get thousands of views on them, just do it for the views. And I'm out here just trying to help you guys personally. Cause I what, I have 56 subs, average a good fair 30 something views a video if I get lucky, 50, 60. But this video is probably going to get the most views out of the bunch, which I don't like. Because that's what people, people don't need to come to a channel to learn how to wheelie, right? But you still do. And here's the one thing, guys. I learned wheelies almost on my own. It, it's, it's hard to do it alone. Have a friend do it with you. Because when you do it with a friend, you guys can motivate each other. That's another tip, guys. Be with a friend. You guys can motivate each other so much. 
You guys don't even understand. You can moti motivate each other so much. Like if I'm like trying to get Ethan to start to learn how to do wheelies, and I'm gonna make him post daily up, not daily, weekly updates on his channel about it, right? And blah blah blah, using my tips and how the tips worked. Because the tips do work, I can guarantee you, 1,000%. If you use the tips and you go out and you try to wheelie every single day and you bust your chops for an hour each day trying to wheelie and just getting it down, you will, you will be able to wheelie from this yellow line to that yellow line. This yellow line to this yellow line in a month. If you keep at it, and you really learn, and you put effort into it, I guarantee you guys will be able to do it. That's the one thing. People, with the whole tips thing, like I said, small goals. Because people, you set big goals. It's super ambitious. And then, once when you can't make the goals, you get sad. You don't want to do it anymore, so you quit. Set small goals. Because then after you beat that small goal, you're going to be a lot happier. And guess what that happy is going to do? That happiness is going to give you motivation. The motivation will go back to learning how to wheelie. The wheelies will get better over time. And here's the thing you guys have to know about wheelies. It's not something most people pick up in a day, two days, three days, four days, five days. I mean, if you get lucky, you can pick it up in a week. But that's like trying hard every day using the tips. That's the people that are super self-motivated. They set the small goals each day. They... Set three small goals each day and go for the small goal, small goal, small goal. People like Mike Boyd. Mike Boyd, wheelie tutorial. It took him seven, eight days. Got his bike stolen. Got it used as a jank bike. Perfect. Dude, he knows what he's doing. You know, and that's the thing. He had the small goals and he had all that in mind. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the wheelie tutorial. Hope you guys just wait for this old lady to stare at me. If you guys enjoyed the wheelie tutorial. Um, I hope it will help you guys in the future, honestly. Just because of I'm trying to help the community right now. Everybody that wants to learn how to do wheelies and like wants to learn find a new channel to watch. I'm right here, guys. I do I make videos almost every single Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That's probably gonna be the new upload schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The day I'm making this is Wednesday. So there won't be a video today, but there will be a video Friday. Or maybe it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday, my bad. Ha ha, gotcha. So there will be a video tomorrow to be this video on Wednesday. Let's go, guys. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be so hype. I can't wait to start the channel back again with you guys. It's been awesome, guys. Literally, last like two hours I've gained two subscribers. And that might not sound big and stuff like that. And they both liked... They both subscribed and liked the recent video. What that basically means, guys, is what the whole YouTube thing is. Those two people want to watch your content. They want to watch your content. You should be happy someone, one person, likes watching your content. Take that with pride. Okay? Because I know a couple people that will actually sit down there and watch my whole 15, 20-minute videos. And some of them aren't even my family members, which is insane because I go into the analytics and I see you guys on average of almost every video, you guys are watching at least seven minutes of the video, which is absolutely insane, guys. We're getting 30 views. Out of the 30 people, you guys are watching more than seven minutes on average. That's insane, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for 55 subscribers. You know, recently the channel, we've been trying to grow. It's kind of tough and because the whole bike vlogging is kind of a big market. But you guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all your help. Anything you guys do to like the video, dislike the video, it lets me know what I can do to change, the, change a little bit of the content. I'm not going to change it specifically to what you want. Like, go around and do this, this, this. No, I can't do that, right? But you see, I don't know, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for 55 subscribers. And thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos, all the likes, all the comments. I don't get much comments anymore, but I used to. If you guys want to see more videos, we'll be back with Speedy, hopefully in the next one. If we're not, it'll be your boy riding alone. But next video, we got something really exciting planned. Either me or me and Speedy. Something really exciting planned. It's 
gonna be awesome, guys. Also, I just figured out, a couple weeks ago, I started doing YouTube. I'm looking at her. I, a couple weeks ago, was my one year, well, one year for uploading on this channel. But I've, I've had the channel a lot longer than that, and I put videos up before that, but I obviously deleted the videos. With riding bikes and doing all this crazy shit in general, it's about, what, my... I mean, I've been riding bikes 15 years, guys. Let's just skip you on through here. I've been riding bikes for 15 years, guys. It's insane. Now, we'll do a quick neighborhood lap. Let's do this. But I've been riding bikes for so long in my life, guys. And it's just something that it's... The bike is second-hand nature for me. It's something I can do. Wow. Somehow that wasn't actually scary that time. You see, it's super scary. But guys, it's just second-hand nature. And it's something you really gotta invest your time in. If you guys invest your time in it, you're gonna be able to do it in the long run. You know what I mean? So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Chase goes, we're now over 55 subscribers. It's insane, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget, crazy video coming up next. Crazy. It smells like gas. Crazy, crazy. Really, dude? Crazy, crazy upload coming up next. I can't wait to see you guys then. I'm Chase Goes. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully with Speedy. If you guys want to check out Speedy, link in the description, man. Let's get this boy to 20 subs, guys. We've almost got him. A couple subscribers just over just the shout out in the video. So I thank you guys so much for that. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Also, I'm going to roll this quick clip from a few days ago. I'm going to run this few clip, this quick clip from yesterday. Now, I can't use the full bike vlog just because of... I had my mic in the wrong spot and the breathing was really bad. So you guys could hear like the... <laughs> and it was like right by my nose. So that's the thing that sucked. Let's hit a quick wheelie. But guys, make sure you... Make sure you guys watch this video. These kids came up to me and learned, wanted to learn how to wheelie. It was great. Here you go. After this, I'm just going to roll the outro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Boop, boop. Peace. I just hit my knee on the freaking bar. Oh. Hee. <laughs>